So why am I showing you a tooth cleaning kit? I'll get to that in a minute. This video is going to show my methods for removing stickers from game cases, as well as removing them from cardboard and paper. I'll be using some PS2 games I've collected over the years, but my methods should also work with these kinds of cases as well. Some of my methods may be original, others may not, but hopefully you learned something along the way. Inside this tooth cleaning kit is a tool that looks like a tiny golf club that is normally used for scraping plaque off teeth. I've never used it for that though, instead I'm using it to help remove stickers from cases. Specifically, it helps pry up the edges of the stickers. A fingernail can do the same thing, but when I have a large number of games to process, my fingernail gets sore, which is why I use the tool. Obviously you don't have to use this specific tool, there's other things that will do the same thing. After a sticker is pulled off, there's always some residue left on the case. The sticker itself can be used to remove it just by dabbing repeatedly. This will usually remove all the remaining residue. You might see some damage on the plastic, but it was already there before I did anything. Scotch tape can also be used in the same way. Sometimes the residue won't come off, usually because it's dried up and become hard. In that case, I dab a little bit of water on the area. In the past, I used to use Goo Gone, but I found it to be smelly and it leaves a greasy residue. Plus, water does a surprisingly good job at removing stickiness. It's a good idea to remove the contents of the game case so things don't get wet. Since the clear plastic lining is loose and shifts around when you try to scrape, it's a good idea to stick some cardboard underneath it to tighten things up. This also provides backing for the depressions in the cases, which are areas that can easily be punctured if you poke around too much. After the water soaks in, I then take the tool and scrape the residue off. A sock can be used, specifically the part of the sock with the elastic grooves. It allows you to clean a wider area at once. I sometimes use both the tool and the sock. If residue still remains, let it dry and try using the sticker or tape again. The residue should be much weaker now. If all else fails, use rubbing alcohol. Now let's take a look at some tougher situations. Some games have these outer cardboard shells and unfortunately, retailers slap stickers on them. Removing them is obviously high risk. However, I've done several of these and nothing bad has happened so far. Either way, be extra careful. Take a hairdryer or heat gun and warm the label up. Don't heat it up too much because it might damage the cardboard. Use the lowest setting. Since cardboard is soft, you don't want to use a tool. Just use your fingernail this time. You'll need to continuously reheat the label. Once you have a corner up, start pulling it back slowly, making sure the label is separating from the cardboard. If you hear or see the cardboard tearing, stop immediately and start pulling up another corner. Ta-da! A similar issue is when they place a sticker on the paper insert usually on the spine label. The same methods apply here. Keep it warm and peel it back slowly from multiple edges. Once again, it's high risk, so be very careful. Sometimes there's residue left on the paper. Instead of trying to scrape it off with something, which can damage the paper, what I do is lightly brush it with a sock. It decreases the stickiness. When it's back underneath the plastic, you'll hardly notice there's some residue left. If you can't get a label off the spine, 
you may want to just place a rectangular piece of electrical tape inside the clear plastic. The black tape will look better than the ugly sticker. One last thing, if you want to remove a security strip, a tool like the plaque scraper is useful for that as well. Hopefully you can now enjoy the look of your game collection.